Hey everyone, what's up? It's me, Jason, from Boost School Table Tennis, and on this episode, let's talk about intermediate serves that you can use. As always, I'll be relying on the Maypal Pal for this episode on serves. So, our arsenal of serves is kind of limited. Maybe we have like a chop because you saw me chop in the last episode, but we also have our topspin, backhand, serves, which are good and all, but bearing it up and having a very large arsenal at our own disposal is great. So most people will use a shake hand. I don't believe I mentioned that in the past episodes, but it is the most common that you'll see. The shake hand is that you put your three here, your index finger kind of flat on one side, and then the thumb also flat, and maybe like a little long angle on the other side. So you can just do your basic fingers. Well, we'll discuss in a later episode about different types of holds that people like to do. Uh, but for the serve, we're actually going to be holding it a little different. We're going to be putting our four fingers on to one side. Our thumb will actually relatively be in the same position and just hold like so. This gives us generally like more control. But no, do not play like this at all. Once you finish serving, instantly serve. Switch it. So you go from here, here. It'll take some time and practice, and I understand if you just hold it like this and serve, it'll work just well. So for the first serve, it's going to be called the Impaler. Most of my friends who see this see this series know what the Impaler is, because that's one of my very much go-to serves. So we're going to hold it in like how I described it like before. So four fingers here, up here, and the table's actually going this way. And you're going to actually have your waist kind of turned more towards this way. So come along the width of the table. Somewhere. So we're going to go and actually this motion. We're going to stop ourselves before we accidentally hit ourselves. Do an accident. It's all okay. Just a quick like hold. The point is, is that it'll apply side spin. Side spin, especially for beginners, if you can get side spin on anything, that's really good for a beginner. The side spin, laying you down, it's really important. So let's see an action. One more time, so remember, do this. So now let's try out our first serve, the Impaler. My personal favorite, and the one I usually use. So remember everyone, we're gonna do, we're gonna hold like this. Kinda like wrap our four fingers onto the red side. Our thumb onto the black. And we're gonna go in this type of motion. So far out here, here. And remember, we're gonna kinda twist ourselves Kind of going this way. Ready? Let's do it one more time. Remember? So for the second one, it's called the Phantom. The Phantom, the point of it, essentially it's gonna hop over and roll back. It's basically the ghost here, but it's not as good, so I call it the Phantom. But so how it goes is you're gonna aim it instead of down like a downspin, do a little Bit of upspin, I guess, what you call it. I have no clue what you would call it. Just angle upwards. When you throw it up, it should hit here and kind of like move it over. If you want, click with your wrist. But that's really just experimentation and the speed, where you want it to go, etc. But the point is, is that it's going to barely make it over the net and it's going to slightly come back, forcing your opponent to either play the short game, basically really close to the net, so that they don't actually have a counter attack for you, but you can because they'll block it in one way. So let's try. One more time. There you go. But remember, this. what this does is that it helps you by giving you a short range serve but in, like, in addition to a lot of your longer range. So like your basic chops, forehand, backhand, impaler. They're mostly long range. So having a short range just in your arsenal is always great. Up your so now we're going to do the phantom. As I said before, remember it's going to be angled kind of upwards like this way, so up towards the sky. You're going to kind of start a little low, bend your knees, for the last and final serve I'll be using the Beyblade also called the Crescent. So how it works is that it was made by one of my fellow Wu School students. How he did it was that he kind of made a U 
shape. So ready? The point of it is that the faster you go, it'll cause one, potentially some si side spin, but it's also one of your downspin serves. So it's a lot better than just a basic downspin. But no, for this one, you can actually hold it like a normal shake hand. So, ready? Depending on how fast you go, will cause it to curve off and move in a different direction. Basically tripping up your opponent yet again. So, let's see from a different Last serve, I'll be teaching you the Beyblade. So remember, it's kind of a U shape. Kind of like your, if you watch Beyblade, you're gonna let it rip essentially, ready? Let's do it one more time. So now with these three awesome serves at your arsenal, that means that you're pretty much ready for a lot of different scenarios. Whether it be someone playing the long game, so you can play maybe like serve it short with the Phantom, which will cause them to need to play short, and then give you the ample opportunity to maybe pop spin it back over. Well, like the Impaler, side spin, it's always a nice thing to have. But note, even with these three, try not to repeat them over and over, because maybe your opponent might figure out what it, what it really is and what it does. That concludes our episode on Intermediate Serves. Next time, we're going to be focusing on looping. But as always, Rusko signing out. Keep practicing.